Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. In today's video, what we'll be doing is exploring a new application on iOS called Sorted. Now this is a sponsored video, so it got bumped up my editorial calendar. I will be giving my full opinion and sharing some of the features, but I will be just giving you what I think of the application so that you guys can go away and make the decision yourself. So one of the things that really drew me in as I kept uh, exploring Sorted was the chronological experience. So as you can see here, uh, it, it implements a chronological experience. All you have to do is add a task just by dragging down. Once you add that task, you can organize it based on time. You can add a label, which essentially puts it inside a list. And you, then you can like move it around based on whether you want to change the time or the date. Now, it's pretty impressive in terms of being able to visually uh, organize your stuff. Now, I inside to do is actually uh, organize my time like this. So it was something that was very familiar from the start. Now, as you see, you can scroll down and sideways to change the date. Now, you can go from the bottom, pull up the calendar and see all of the future dates ahead. Now, if you go ahead and you actually skip to something like the April 20th, um, and you want to maybe create something like uh, Pack for Sweden or Organize for Sweden uh, or a trip, then you can. <laughs> and uh, what you can do with that is you can assign it to a list straight away. You can also add little subtasks inside there, which is quite nice. Um, and you can tick them off separately. Now, one of the things I would say is when I started out, it took a few moments to get used to in terms of the interface, but you know, uh, you'll be a magician after you sort of go to the settings page and hit the tips and tricks. Now that section actually does help explain everything in much richer detail. So going over to the list view, you can actually see all of the lists. You can create lists from here. And once you create a list, you'll have certain like tasks inside there. You don't necessarily have to assign them to dates or, or times. Uh, you can actually just have a list going. It could be a shopping list that is uh, sort of static. But if you want, you can actually assign them and obviously they'll go to the direct date, uh, which is pretty impressive. Now there is a search tasks function. If you pull up from the calendar and hit the search icon, you can actually see that there. And if you're looking to see all of your completed tasks, all you have to do is open that uh, calendar function again and hit the sort of, looks like a going back button, uh, which will help you find the uh, completed tasks, which will show you all of the ones chronologically on how you completed it. Now, there are loads of different themes, which I enjoyed. Uh, some of them were pretty cool. In terms of the settings, you have the ability to change a certain elements of it, like what day you want to start the week and things like that. Uh, there's also themes, as I mentioned, and iCloud storage as well. Now, you can sync this to the Reminders app on your phone, which is quite nice, but this is a very much an iOS-only experience at the moment. They are adding a Mac application very soon, which I will include some information in the description. The macOS version will really be nice because obviously, being able to sync all of your tasks across the Mac and the iPhone is really the way to go forward. As a new company, they've obviously been working on this one as well. So this application is priced at $1.99 on the App Store, which is a reasonable for the experience that you're paying for. Now it is growing in features and it's slowly improving. And what I like about this application is the gesture experience is actually really fluid. Like a lot of the applications don't get this right from day one, uh, but this application does a great job at that. As I mentioned, please do check out the tips and tricks in these help settings uh, or the uh, settings bar because I did take a few moments to get used to things. But once you do, you'll be enjoying this one, I'm pretty sure. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be doing more features like this very soon on the sort of new and fresh applications. So, so feel free to recommend any in the comment and do let me know whether you get to play with Sorted as I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anyway guys, all of the stuff will be in the description. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.